hypotension is a very common uh, presentation or scenario that we face and encounter um, almost on a daily basis in the uh, NICUs, especially in level 3 centers where we take care of really sick and fragile babies. And I just have to say that this is not a medical lecture. I'm just showing one slide of uh, one of the presentations I've done in the past um, uh, regarding hemodynamic instability in the uh, NICU and uh, I just want to show uh, the slide that I find very useful uh, if you want to remember the uh, different uh, agents that we often use in the NICU and what would they do and how they can help uh, you uh, managing your hypotensive uh, neonate. So we don't actually have a lot of agents to manage uh, neonatal hypotension, um, but we have a different um, physiologies uh, and etiologies behind the uh, neonatal hypotension. And each one of these agents uh, works uh, differently. And obviously we're not talking about the mechanism of uh, actions, uh, of these uh, agents, but actually we're talking about um, the physiological effect um, uh, and how would they help you uh, managing um, based on the um, uh, uh, physiological uh, rationale you're, you're thinking. Uh, so, you know, these are the different agents. Each one of these um, uh, medications would affect the SV, which is the stroke volume. Uh, the SVR, which is the systemic vascular resistance, and the PVR, the pulmonary vascular resistance. And I just want to note here that uh, PVR, which is the pulmonary vascular resistance, uh, it's often confused with the uh, peripheral vascular resistance. So in hemodynamics, in natal hemodynamics, by convention, um, uh, it should be only used for pulmonary vascular resistance so we don't confuse with the peripheral vascular resistance which is uh, technically the uh, SVR or the systemic vascular resistance. So let's stick with the SVR for uh, systemic vascular resistance and PVR for pulmonary vascular resistance. Uh, so the first agent is uh, topamine. Um, <clears throat> So obviously dopamine um, has uh, an inotropic uh, effect um, for which it will increase the uh, stroke volume uh, as it will increase the contractility of the heart. It will also increase your SVR and uh, it will increase your PVR as well. So for example, if you have an HIE baby with RV uh, dysfunction, uh, then dopamine probably is not the best uh, um, agent as it will increase your uh, pulmonary vascular resistance and will increase the afterload uh, on the RV, right? So it will uh, increase your SVR and it will fix your blood pressure. However, uh, it's a probably not helping the right ventricle that has to work against the high afterload, okay? This is just an example. Uh, next agent is norepinephrine. So norepinephrine also <clears throat> has some uh, uh, inotropic effect uh, and uh, it will increase the stroke volume a little bit, obviously. Uh, however, the main effect on, uh, of the uh, norepinephrine is uh, increasing the uh, systemic vascular resistance, right? It doesn't have that much of effect on the pulmonary vascular resistance. So the best... Um, case uh, or the scenario to use the norepinephrine is in uh, warm shock where you have really decreased uh, systemic vascular resistance so and hence the hypotension so just use norepinephrine it will increase your SVR and uh, hopefully it will fix the uh, blood pressure okay the next agent uh, which uh, has become uh, more uh, popular uh, in the uh, recent years um, <clears throat> works um, uh, also similar to the norepinephrine it has a systemic vascular resistance effect it will um, um, increase that okay so it helps you in the uh, worm shock 
The also good advantage of vasopressin is that you can use it in cases of pulmonary hypertension because there is maybe some effects on the pulmonary vascular resistance as it decreases it, okay, a little bit. So it may help, it may wor work as an ad adjunct therapy to uh, the inhaled nitric oxide, for example, okay. Next agent would be dubitamine, which is um, mainly uh, works to increase the contractility of uh, the heart. Okay, so if you have uh, RV dysfunction, for example, in context of myocarditis um, or like severe RV dysfunction because of the HIE or because of the severe pulmonary hypertension, dubitamine is a useful agent in this case as it will increase the contractility. It doesn't have that much effect um, on the SVR, neither the PVR. Next agent is melanone, uh, which is phosphodiesterase uh, inhibitor. Um, <clears throat> the main effect of the uh, melanone is that um, it will increase your cardiac output by increasing the stroke volume. Um, however, you cannot use it in cases of hypotension. Okay, why? Because it decreases the SVR, it vasodilates and decreases the SVR. So if you have a baby who's hypotensive and you use melanone, even though you're increasing the stroke volume and the cardiac output, but because the SVR is dropped, um, the melanone will, will worsen the hypotension, okay? So uh, usually people don't use it in cases of hypotension. And then the last agent is uh, epinephrine. Uh, epinephrine also uh, increases the contractility, it will increase the stroke volume and uh, hence the um, uh, cardiac output. Uh, it also increases the SVR, the systemic vascular resistance, but the problem with the epinephrine is that it increases the um, uh, pulmonary vascular resistance. Uh, for example, in, in cases of pulmonary hypertension, PPHN for example, uh, uh, it will worsen the PVR, which is probably not a good thing, right? Um, despite that it increases the uh, stroke volume and uh, the SVR, but uh, increasing the PVR in cases of uh, neonatal uh, PPHN is not a good thing. And uh, yeah, that's it. That's the summary of all of these agents. And again, probably this is a simplified uh, summary of effects of these medications. Uh, probably there is a lot of uh, overlap um, between them. And sometimes uh, it's not as clear uh, as this or distinct as this. Like you can't have a clinical scenario with uh, just one um, isolated uh, issue, for example, sometimes like you have HIE baby with um, RV dysfunction, a decreased SVR and uh, decreased cardiac output, and it's really complicated. And sometimes we use a couple of uh, uh, agents as, uh, as well. Hydrocortisone is also there. Uh, I'm not going to talk about it here, otherwise the video will go long and long. Uh, but I think uh, that was uh, a quick uh, short summary. Uh, I really hope uh, was useful and helpful. And uh, yeah, thanks for uh, listening.